intro and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlett Tanager and we're playing some Xenosaga episode 3. We're now on disc 2! <laughs> Hopefully it actually loaded correctly. I see an Elsa. <laughs> this is gonna end well. How you doing, Mr. Matthews? Is everyone okay? No. <laughs> Shion's yeah, probably not. Seems fine. You sure about that? Hammer! Hurry up and give us a damage report in our current position! Roger! Huh? Uh, uh. What? I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's completely fine. Oh wait, no it's not! <laughs> it's Abel's Ark again! It's gonna end well. And by end well, I mean it's gonna end terribly. It's gonna end absolutely That's... terribly. Abel's Ark. Mm hmm. What's going on? I thought it disappeared along with the past Milsha just a moment ago. About that. Hammer! Where the hell are we? Coordinates confirmed. We're at point KZ255Y724. Like Matthews is supposed to know what that means. It's the same point where we came in contact with the hypersphere. Yep. What? UMN column pulse received. Time access confirmed. We're in the present. Then we were never really... Yep. Never really in the past. We were trapped in the world of Xi'an's subconscious this whole time. In order to awaken that. The thing they were unable to accomplish in the past. That's why they needed the power of both Xi'ans. Yep. Captain, there's a powerful energy wave coming from Abel's Ark. What? Shockwave incoming! Well, this is gonna end well. Arch just yeeted itself somewhere in the galaxy. This is going to end terribly. Like, really badly. Is it gone? Like, something's about to happen that you're just like... <sighs> Captain, there's a transmission from the Durandal. What? The Durandal's here? Yes, sir. Looks like it's nearby. They say they've spotted us and they're gonna pick us up. They're okay, right? Yeah, they're fine. Okay, Are you sure about that? Let's go ahead and join up with them. Are you, are you sure about that? <laughs> I mean, sure, the Drandal's fine for now. We've detected the Elsa signature. Range to rendezvous point is 400. Hi, Yuli. What about the unknown that appeared moments ago? It's currently moving through the UMN. A unique wave is being emitted from the columns as it passes through. The disappearing planets are likely the result of those waves. What kind of waves? Yeah, it's just eating planets <laughs> left and right. To the vibration patterns emitted when Gnosis come in contact with humans. Are you saying it's a synchronicity chain phenomenon? What? <laughs> the disappearance phenomenon is expanding. Yep. At its current rate, half of the Federation will vanish within 72 hours. Yeah, it's causing all of the planets to get yeeted out of existence. Like, billions of people are dying every couple seconds. Just regular shit. Unbelievable. Have you identified the moving object? No, but this waveform matches the giant gnosis that appeared at Old Milsha one year ago. In the end of Xenosaga 2. That giant gnosis? That thing they call Abel's Ark. According to the description in Mizrahi's Y data, Abel's Ark seeks the eternal circle, Zarathustra. So it's heading for Mictum. Then there's only one place it can be going. Planet Mictum. Yep! This isn't gonna end well. Mictum's the final dungeon. I think I mentioned that in another um, playthrough. We're not quite there yet, but we have like a couple. We have a couple more dungeons before we hit Mictum. But Federation planets are disappearing. One Hi, Dimitri. Just as described in the Y data, the release of Lamagetan has awakened Abel. When Abel awakes, his cradle, the Ark, shall appear. It shall seek the eternal sir. And true to those words, the Zohar has become active. I can feel it. Great. Abel, 
Just who is that child? Don't worry about it. You could say he's an old friend from the time when I was a UMN space pilot. He was always in an isolated facility, though. So I only met him directly a few times. That was several hundred years ago. And he has never changed the entire time. Yep, little baby Abel. He's a little old. He's got a little bit There's of time. nothing to be surprised about. After all, I've existed for hundreds of years myself. That's creepy. His existence is recorded in Mizrahi's Y data. It's essential for controlling Omega. He does act as a mediator to the Zohar waves, but the record itself is thousands of years old. Yep. And Mizrahi restored it, which means that boy has existed since that era. It's outside the realm of normal comprehension. It's because he's not human, obviously. Right now, he is an indispensable partner to me. He is the control device for Omega, the one weapon that can challenge God. Yeah, you're wrong there, Dimitri, for a bunch of reasons, but... <laughs> Once I retrieve its power source, the Zohar, and obtain Zarathustra, the final artifact needed to ascend to the realm of God. Do you seriously intend to fight? God. I mean, this is a Japanese RPG, and it's kind of a trope in JRPGs that you're gonna end up killing God at some point. That's just the way it is. You'll see soon enough. <laughs> Except, honestly, funnily enough, not in this game. <laughs> you don't actually end up fighting God in this game. <laughs> they talk about God a lot, and you have some conversations with him through Udu, but you don't actually end up fighting God in this game. You do in Shadow Hearts, what are you though. doing, Margulis? No orders have been issued to move the fleet. They have Omega. And now this. It's the unknown entity currently moving through the UMN. It's Abel's Ark. Abel's Ark? The object that was said to appear when the Messiah was crucified? Do you see where it's headed? It's Mictum. Why is this thing that appeared at Old Milsha a year ago heading for Mictum now? That I don't know. Yeah, you should, Margulis. The Federation Salvatore faction is headed for Mictum as well. Do you think that's just a coincidence? There's something there on that planet. And that's why you're taking the fleet? So that planet is more than just our birthplace? Zarathustra. The Blessed Saint's womb. It is said to be vital for the return to Lost Jerusalem. Mictum, or Abraxas, was the planet where the worshippers of the saint landed. See, there's so much to unpack in this storyline, which is why I love it so much. It's so dense, but dear god, Pellegri and Margulis, oh. like, do you know who their saint is? Like, the blessed, where the blessed saint sleeps at Ren le Chateau? Their saint... <sighs> I'm not gonna spoil it, but let's just say they don't know that they've been fighting against their saint this entire time. <laughs> the Y data we obtained from the Federation also supports it. You believe Zarathustra lies on Mictum? Yes. And if so, we cannot allow them to intrude upon that land. Even if it means disobeying the orders of his eminence? Hmm. Well. God damn it, Udu, leave Shion alone. Shion, what fills your heart? Is it fear? Sadness? Or joy? I don't know. I don't understand myself. Are you afraid? What are you afraid of? <laughs> Why are you afraid? Are you afraid of being isolated from the world? Are you afraid of people rejecting you? Damn it, Udu! Are you afraid of your eventual death? Afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of being alone. 
What does it mean to be alone? Is it more terrifying than death? Why does your face show such an expression? I don't know. I don't understand anything. Help me. Please, someone help me. Tell me who I am. Yeah, nobody can tell you that but yourself. Also, if you've played Xenogears, Abel's um, appearance is a direct reference to Xenogears. As is his name, technically, but... What should I do? Am I just going to disappear from this world? Unable to do anything? I still want to know why there's a fully functioning, like, Kevin. jellyfish aquarium in the sleeping quarters of the Elsa. <laughs> Jin! Jin, why? Why didn't you let me go? Why did you get in my way? If I'd gone with Kevin, I might have been able to be happy. See, this is the beginning of Shiad's dumbest thing she does in this game. Do you really think so? What do you know? You don't know anything about him. I'm going to die. Like mom. Are you saying you don't care? Don't be stupid. No brother wants to see his sister die. Then... Then don't interfere. Let me go to Kevin. Don't take anything else from me. Shion. See, this is the beginning. Like, the stupidest thing that she does is coming up, but this is the beginning of NOBODY UNDERSTANDS ME! ME! And she does for, like, this entire fucking game, and it's infuriating! Get out! Is it alright for you to leave the room? Completely pathetic. Currently, Xi'an's mental balance is in an extremely unstable state. That is the likely cause of her attitude towards you. Given time, she should return to her original mental state. Damn it, damn it, Kozlos. That's not what I mean. I'm pathetic for being unable to help Xi'an when she needs me the most. She's really be talking. She's right there. I might as well be a stranger. I'm unable to do anything for her as her brother, Cosmos. Not that I believe the words of that testament. But it might really be for the best to remove you from Xion. But right now, you are the only one who can save her. Please, help Xion. Cosmos is like, does not compute, do not understand, M. Robot. <laughs> Cosmos! Are you alright, Xion? Cosmos, was what Kevin said true? Are you going to kill me? There is no connection between my current system and your life functions. Nevertheless, given that those are words from Kevin Winnicott, the system designer, we cannot be certain if they should be ignored. At the present time, I am restricted from taking actions that would jeopardize your life. Why do you protect me, Cosmos? Protecting Vector employees is registered in my program as a matter of high priority. That's not it. She's you also not a Vector employee. Yes, like, she's not a Vector employee anymore, though. I didn't program any priority like that. Xion, protecting you is registered as my highest priority. Is Kevin the one who programmed that? I do not know. I can determine that it is a direct interrupt from my core module and independent of my control program. Your core? Are you saying your heart wants to protect me? Sure. <laughs> my heart? I am unable to determine that. See, she doesn't have one. <laughs> I guess you can't know that. I don't know what I should do. It's not that I want to give Jin a hard time. And it's not that I don't trust my friends. I know that you and Jin and everyone on the Elsa are worried about me. But isn't everyone really thinking that I'm a dangerous burden? Obviously not, dumbass. And hey, maybe you should just bring that up to them instead of making assumptions and... Tr and so many times nearly getting all of your friends killed and making dumbass assumptions about what they think of you. I'm the one who led our universe to destruction. If I die, the Gnosis might disappear. Isn't everyone wishing that would happen? I'm afraid. I'm so scared. No one's gonna save me. If everyone abandons me, I... Will you always stay with me? No one's going to abandon you, Xion, even though you... God, sometimes you deserve it. I don't want to be alone, Cosmos. 
Help me, Kevin. And passes out. <laughs> Damn it, Nephilim! <laughs> Nephilim? Shion, don't reject everything. If you stay like this, you'll wind up alone. What do you want? Are you here to say a bunch of cryptic things again and confuse me? Probably. <laughs> You're always like that. You just appear in front of me, say whatever you feel like, then just watch without actually doing anything. It's true that he needs you, but he doesn't necessarily seek the same thing that you seek from him. The salvation he brings might not make you happy. Even if that's true, I still want to see him. I want to talk with him. If you go to him, you will have to choose. The choice you have to make will be difficult and painful for you. Do you still wish to? Yes, I still do. Yes, because she doesn't think things through, ever! <laughs> I need Kevin, just like he needs me. What Kevin wants is Abel, the Zohar, and you and Cosmos. Abel is currently being used as part of the Omega system to realize Dimitri Uriah's ambition. Set Abel free from his curse. If you do, Kevin will appear before you once again. I... <laughs> again, Doshion does have a point about um, Nephilim being extremely cryptic. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hi, Durandal! I'm waiting for it. God, I'm waiting for the thing that's gonna happen. So that's what happened while we were away. We've received reports that Federation and Ormus advance forces began fighting approximately three hours ago in the space surrounding Mictum. What's happening with the planetary disappearances? Approximately half of all Galaxy Federation planets have disappeared at this point. Youch! <laughs> That's trillions of people. So your assumption is that Abel's Ark is causing this phenomenon? What's the Ark doing now? Abel's Ark has appeared in normal space. It appears to be heading for Mictum as we surmised. The Merkaba appears to be pursuing Abel's Ark. Estimated time of contact is 1730. Not even two hours from now, damn that bastard! He's talking about his dad, obviously. He's talking about Yuriev. Hi, Homer! Oh, there you go. What do you think my old man's up to, Homer? Dimitri won't make it easy for us to find out what he's planning. But even if we don't know how much of the current situation he predicted, if he's brought out the Merkava and obtained Omega, then there's only one thing he's after. The original Zohar swallowed by the Ark! Yep! Remember in the second game, Abel's Ark ha um, took the original Zohar off of Milsha. That's why he wanted Omega and Abel, and whatever is sleeping on Mictum. Do you think his goal is to wipe out Ormus? A little, a little bit bigger than that. I don't think that's it. Dad probably isn't even concerned with Ormus anymore. Dad was. He had an extreme fear of Udu. Everything he does seems to be rooted in that fear. And when he got the Y data, he found what he wanted. A way to conquer his fear. Yep. Junior would know him. Are you still unable to make contact with the representative trustee? Yes. Communication with Fifth Jerusalem has been cut off since the appearance of Abel's Ark. The planetary disappearance is already spreading. It's no surprise we can't make contact. The situation is grave here on Milsha as well. We're launching escape ships one after another, but we don't know if we'll make it in time. And for that matter, we don't know if the planetary disappearance phenomenon affects us as well. You humans are hopeless. It's times like this when you should be working together. <laughs> Shut up, Kanan! <laughs> what you're saying is sad but true, Kanan. I mean, it's accurate, but also... <laughs> We're using most of the Milshan fleet as escape ships, so we don't have any left to aid you. This will probably be my last communication with you as well. Yep, because we're never gonna hear from Helmer again. Helmer. I'll need you to operate under your own judgment. Do what you think is best. I apologize for asking so much of you, even up to the very end. You know what happened to the Kukai Foundation? Because we've only been on the Durandal, but we haven't actually seen the Kukai Foundation since the second game. Committee member Ms. Rahi, please take care of the rest. The transmission from Milsha has ended. Damn it! What are you hesitating for? 
Shion, are you all right? Yes, I feel fine. See, all that her friends have done, all that they've done is like, are you okay? How are you doing? Are you all right? And she's like, they're gonna leave me. They hate me. And I was like, what the fuck, woman? But you shouldn't push yourself after what just happened. Are you sure you want me around? Because you know I might call the Gnosis again, or maybe run off to join the enemy. Of course not. Everyone's worried about your health. I know my own body better than anyone. You can stop worrying. Obviously you don't, because you keep pushing yourself to the point where you're passing out in the middle of dungeons. Shion. This isn't the time to be arguing about this, is it? If Dimitri Yuriev is trying to use the Zohar for his own purpose, we have to find out what it is. Once it's already happened, it'll be too late. Yeah, I know. Shion, right now we need all the help we can get. Are you gonna be alright? How many times do I have to say it? I'm fine. Obviously you aren't! <laughs> okay, we'll launch the Elsa as soon as we gain You out. just saying it don't mean shit, lady! We'll pass through the fighting between the Federation and Orbis to get to the Merkava. There, we'll secure Omega and Dimitri Yuria, who should be at the center. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. The not the way you think will it will. Stand by for support in the rear. All hands, prepare to move out! Because there's one very important thing that nobody on the ship knows yet that's gonna fuck them over. How did Dmitry Uryev be come back to life? Yeah, he's in the body of Negredo. Gaina. I mean, we already know that at this point. As a player, we already know that, but none of like the, the cast or the um, characters know that yet. Because we did see him, like, Guinan multiple times mid transformation to Yuriev and him arguing with Guinan and still with Yuriev in his head and shit. So when I first played this game, I was just waiting for that hammer to drop. <laughs> I. What's up, bruh? Actually, do I? Have more equipment I can buy. I do. Okay, I'm a. I'm gonna do some shopping. I'm gonna be right back. All right, let's go. All right, let's head to the foot floor, Tony. Yep. I. I mostly worked with my. The Merkaba has already made contact with Abel's Ark. Uh oh. I kitted out my characters, but I didn't really kit out the ES that much because I ran out of money. <laughs> I know. Listen. Merkaba's own attack capability isn't very high. If we can get past the defense fleet, getting inside will be simple. You make it sound easy. <laughs> We're on an independent mission and ignoring Federation law. Not well, only are the Ormus our enemy, but the Federation fleet and the Gnosis as well. Well, I mean, most of the Federation is gone at this point, so... <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem with your skill, should it? I have high expectations for you. Thanks, Kanan. Gee, thanks. Tony, we're on! Leave it to me. Time to start the show. This is gonna end well. This can only end well. And by well, I mean terribly. Oh look! It sorta of looks like Proto Merkaba, which is why it's called the Merkaba. I rely entirely on Tony's navigational skills. This is fine. Granted, he has pulled off some impressive things in previous games, so. Especially the first game. <laughs> there are lots of Tony what the fuckery piloting maneuvers in the first game. Well, this is gonna end well. And with that, I mean terribly. Why am I Jin? Hold up. Why am I Jin? I'm sorry, Jin. No, I don't want you there. There we go. And yeah. Now everything is right with the world. Whee! Oh fuck. All you can do is control it going side to side. Whee! Wee! Wee, it's so pretty. 
height. Can I go back? Oh, I can! Uh, actually, yeah. It's, I have to stream about 15 minutes. I've been going for half an hour. We're gonna end it. I know. I just wanted to show you guys the cool ass cutscene. <laughs> and this puts me in a perfect spot off screen to do some uh, hunting for items in the EBS plate. So, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.